A very warm welcome to Galaxy TV News updates. I am Amina Ojalabi. Now, the Osho State Governor, Boyega Oyetola, has encouraged Muslim faithful to use the Eid al-Fitri celebration to pray for an end to the security challenges in the nation. Governor Oyetola stated this while speaking with journalists shortly after observing his prayers at Oshogwe Central Eid to mark the end of Ramadan. The governor expressed hopes about the current effort by President Muhammad Buhari in tackling insecurity in the nation will soon bring an end to the menace. It also urged Muslims to shun all acts capable of jeopardizing the just concluded 30 days fasting. We are not too pleased with the state of insecurity sometimes, particularly the question of kidnapping. This is not part of us in, in, in this part of our country. So please, anybody that is uh, around that you don't particularly know the identity, please report immediately to the nearest police station. We want to enjoin our people that the end of Ramadan does not mean the end of piety. It does not mean the end of devotion to God. And we want to enjoin our people to continue to be dedicated to the ways of Allah, to follow the commandment of uh, Allah, and also the dictate of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We need peace. We don't want problems. We want everybody to live harmoniously so that uh, we, uh, we should tolerate one another. We don't want a uh, religious war in the state. A consultant hematologist from the Bainer State University in Hospital, Dr. Michael Onoja, has called for more awareness and sensitization on the dangers of sickle cell anemia in the country. Dr. Onoja, a senior lecturer from the Bainer State University, made this known at a day sensitization lecture, study awareness must be taken to the rural communities where there are huge populations who barely know the consequences of their action. While he admitted that sickle cell is curable, he explained that very few hospitals do it and are far from more expensive in Nigeria due to dearth of special specialists and facilities. He therefore called on the government for more funding in this area to assist carriers against the car. The cure for sickle cell really, we call it bone marrow transplantation, otherwise known as stem cell transplantation. It's actually curable. The only uh, problem we have with the cure is that it is not something that um, uh, an ordinary person can afford. It also is to see how it does not visit us. And if it will not visit us, then we'll look at the preventive measures. And the preventive measures that we have to look at is that if the number of persons that are coming to be part of this event today, my brother, if I start begin to ask, what's your journey type? People will be keeping quiet. Some guests and participants observe that there should be legislation to compel churches, mosques, parents intending couples to carry a genotype check before marriages to help reduce the prevalence. That message of sickle cell disease is neglected. People preach about HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases, but have not heard of anybody coming up to talk about sickle cell disease. The things I want to sound as a note of, of advice is fating it, when you fate it. It's better for people to look at reality and understand this is reality and take the appropriate decision so that you don't have to bring children into this world that are coming to suffer unnecessarily. For more update and latest news, visit our website, galaxytvonline.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash galaxytvnigeria. You can follow or interact with us on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash galaxytv, or tweet at us at galaxytv. Don't forget to follow and tag us on our Instagram page at officialgalaxytv. Our social media platforms are user-friendly and can always accommodate your live updates and comments. To join us again at 6.30 p.m. for a more comprehensive bulletin, I am Amina Ojalabi. Good to have you with us.